etc. How do you describe a line in 3D rather than the usual 2D? How do you describe a... Oh, yeah, we've got to do the interest rate question. How do you describe a line in 3D rather than the usual 2D? Um, like, like the coordinate system? Like this is... Here. So this is the x-axis, right? When you have one dimension, you have one direction. But you can go this way and this way, but it's one one planar right one direction right so that's one direction 1d here's 2d right here's y so you got two directions right you can go this way and you can go up and down so that's two direction 2d right 3d you don't have to draw the line you can just imagine this thing coming in and out that's 3d or you can just add another line this way i know people like making this x y and that one z in uh, in mathematics but i like it this way because i usually go from 2d to 3d right and i usually make this z so that would be your third co uh, coordinate right so if you're one dimension if this is let's say point uh two right or let's just call this two and then you want to go to two dimension let's say one two three four you go to four right so two dimension you would be here bring these two guys together that's where you are in a two-dimensional world so you have an x and a y right x and a y now if you want to take this to three dimension all you got to do is go let's do this one two three four five six seven so two four and seven now where would we put that go up you hit it here you hit it here i don't where would we put that actually we would go this way uh, this way and that way something here would be uh two four and seven I'm not really good at drawing the 3D aspect of it, right? But that's what it is. That's where you would put it. So you would take this, if this was at 0, 0, so this point is here, you would go, actually, it would be further up here. It'd be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it'd be like here. Okay. That's point 2, 4, and 7, which is X, Y, and Z. Okay? Because you would just go off in this direction, right? So two, and then two and four would be, you're at two, you go up to four, so you're here, and then seven would be, this would be equivalent to you being here on a three-dimensional, and then you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you have to be parallel to this guy. That's the best way uh, I would do it.